Hey guys, good evening. Good evening. Guys? Hello, Jenny. How are you? How was your day? Hi, good evening. Hello, Rafael. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, anyways, what do you do at work today? It's uh, I I was a really heavy work day. Oh, really? Why? Because uh, I went to uh, three cities. I don't know English. Constatación de hecho, inspección. How do you say inspección in English? Inspection. Inspection. Yes. Oh, really? Okay. I, I didn't understand what you said in Spanish, though. <laughs> what constatación? I, I'm not really sure what that is. It is is the languages lawyer languages yeah oh, okay, language, right. de abogado. Okay, <laughs> right. language that i don't know right? <laughs> okay. all right sounds good sounds good oh that's that well that's great that's great uh, what about you rafael how's everything today how was everything today in my case i was checking the, the stock that we have and some configuration about some machines we we check. Machines. 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 No, not machines, machines. Machines. Yes, there you go. All right, that's good. That's awesome. What about you, David? How was everything today? Um, well, uh, I I was working from my house. And only that after work, I I did uh, exercise. Uh -huh. Exercise, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's great. Good to have you here. What about you, uh, Giovanni? What do you do today? Hello. Uh, I was I was go to work. You, you, was, were, you, you were what? I'm sorry. Go to work. Oh, you went to work. Went. Okay. Okay. You went to work. I was okay. went to work and. No, I went to work. That's how you say it. Only went. Yes, I went to work. Yes. I went. I went to work and and make legal documents. Oh, really? Okay. Legal documents. What do you do for a living again? I'm sorry. What do you do for a living means? Hey, que, que haces de tu vida? Like, de que trabajas, right? What do you do for a living? Oh, lawyer. Lawyer. lawyer you're a bank. lawyer too. Okay. All right. Oh, so we have another lawyer here. All right. That's that's cool. I know who to call now. <laughs> <laughs> I know who to call if I run into any any legal issues. <laughs> Ya sé quién llamar. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's great. Maria, uh, Maria Belén, how are you? Welcome back. How's everything? Thank you. Thank you. Como va todo? How's everything? Good. Um, I uh, went to work too, and I visit a farm. I visited. I visited a farm, and I'm tired. <laughs> oh, you okay? Right, you visited a farm. Yes. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. That's nice. <laughs> that's 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 very cool. Uh, why did you visit a farm? What would happen? Um, it's it's a routine. Routine. Oh, it's a routine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Every every uh, weekend. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Okay. All right. Nice, nice. Herbert, what about you, Herbert? How was your day? Um, a little hard because I, 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 I had working a lot. Oh, you worked a lot? Yes. Okay. All right. I, I, I was very busy in my job. Okay. Okay. All right. 
And then we have uh, Maylene. How are you, Maylene? I'm fine, teacher. You're good. You guys, uh, let me give you a tip. Instead of saying, I'm fine, you can say, I'm good. All right? I think it's easier for you to pronounce it too. And it sounds more natural. Oh, I'm good. All right, repeat, guys. I'm good. Good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, very good. I'm good. Or you can say everything good, or all good, you know. So, so that's uh, that's what you have, you know, more more vocabulary. Okay. So, anyways, guys, um, we're gonna get started now. Today, guys, I have something very important to show you. Uh, so we're gonna continue practicing. Um, we're we we're, we're gonna do a rundown on on uh, passive voice. I got it. Mosquitoes are killing me here. Uh, so we're gonna do a rundown on, on passive voice. However, um, we're also gonna see, uh, we're gonna talk about vowel sounds, okay? And the vowel sounds topic is super, super interesting because um, almost nobody teaches that, <laughs> all right? But, but it's extremely important for pronunciation. Like, you have no idea. If you want pronunciation, guys, vowel sounds is what you need to learn. You know, if you wanna sound more American when you speak, you need to learn vowel sounds, okay? All right, so that's what we're gonna see today, guys. Sounds good? That is the agenda for today, all right? Anyways. All right, guys, so let's get started, okay? So, um, so I have two more exercises for you guys, right? All right, so this one, guys, okay, I said that we were going to solve this together uh, yesterday, right? So this is the exercise that, that we did yesterday. All right, so here, guys, okay, we have the active voice. John collects money, all right? David, uh, what, is the, what is the answer in passive voice here? By the way, guys, hey. whoever didn't come yesterday, uh, you can find the class online, all right? It's, 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 uh, it's, it's uploaded every day, okay? So, uh, yes, David, I'm sorry for interrupting. Go ahead. No problem. Uh, the answer is uh, the money. The money. The money. money. Uh, uh, the money was uh, collected by John. By, by John. Okay, Sorry. right. Very good. Was, guys, or is? We're, we're okay. Remember, what tense is this, guys? You got. You got to take a look at the tense here. Right. What is that? What tense is that? Ah, uh, it's present. Is it's present. Is okay. It is. Uh -huh. It is simple it's... present, right? So we say the money was or the money is. The money is. is. Okay, the money is collected. collected. Remember that this needs to be a past participle verb, right? Okay, the money is collected by John. Right? You can mention that. Okay, very good. Uh, next one, Anna opened the window. Uh, Rodrigo, what is the answer for Anna opened the window? I think that's the correct form is the window was opened by Anna. Very good. The window, I repeat, was opened. Was opened. Was opened. By Anna. Open. No, opened. O opened. Uh, opened. Opened. All right, there you go. All right. Bye, okay. Anna. Good job. Okay. Yeah. Next one, all right. Uh, I don't know, Maria, if you did this too, uh, cause, <clears throat> but if you want to try, right, number three. Let's try number three. If you did it, no, that's okay. Maria Belen, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's, it's past particle or, or... Um, passive voice. This is passive voice. So you have to use the object of the sentence. All right. Take a look at the examples the, above, right? So the object of the sentence uh, here is homework, right? The homework? Very good. Oh, okay, yeah. that's how you start. Yes. Homework. All right. Homework. What else do we need here, guys? Uh, what? A uh, hat? Has, actually. Okay, homework has because it's present perfect, okay? Homework yes. has. Uh, we we're done or has been okay has been done by us okay so homework has been done by us right very good good job thank you Maria all right her um herbert number four okay the question 
Our question, okay. Will be in. Will be in. Will, no, question will be. Will be. Uh, in, in, okay, if, okay, now remember that you're, you you need to follow the structure, right? So what is the part that we're missing here? Uh, the, the, the past participle. Exactly, right? So what is the past what is the verb that we need to turn into a past participle verb? Ask. Very good, okay. A question will be asked, right? Will be asked by... Okay, okay good job. Bye. All right. Uh, um, let's go, Rafa. Mm, can go to the picture. The picture can be cut out by him. Okay, the, so that picture, right? So the that picture. picture can be cut out by wow. him. Okay. By him. Yes. Okay. Very good. Good job. Uh, next one, Giovanni. All right, Giovanni, number six. I. Eso no lo pude hacer. Para ser sincero, no encontré el object. Okay. All right. No, no problem. What did you do, number seven? Uh, no. Remember, no Spanish, guys. Okay. Very good. Uh, did you do number eight, nine, ten? Did you do any of that? Did you see alguna de esas? Eight. Um, the uh -huh. car. Mm -hmm. The car will not repair. Will not be. By, remember, will not be. Be uh -huh. repair uh -huh. by William. Okay, will not be repaired by William. Okay. All right, great job. Uh, very good, uh, um, Ricardo. Right, let's do number six. Uh, a lot, a lot was eaten by the sheep. Was eaten by the sheep. Very good. A lot was eaten by the sheep. Okay, very good. All right, uh, number seven, Tatiana. Go with number seven. Um, their rooms or our uh, rooms. Our room um, is not. Is not. Remember, guys, you have to agree with the verb, right? So, who has this? Uh, Jenny Quesada, right? Let's let's finish this. One. Jenny? Oh, Jenny, okay, right. Uh, what about you, Maylin? All right, very good. Uh, guys, I right, remember to be in the class, all right? Rafael, uh, do you have the answer for number seven? Our rooms are not cleaned by us. Okay, are not cleaned Clean by, by us. us, okay. Okay, all right, you can say this. Okay, very good. Uh, number nine. Uh, will be number nine. Ricardo, what will be number nine? Uh, four. Now this one is a no. little bit more complicated, right? Because it's a question. No, no, no. Uh, let me try. Uh, the circle. Okay. Now remember that this is a question, right? So we need to start with a question structure. Uh, does the circle? No. Okay. So was the circle? Oh, I'm sorry. Was the circle uh, drawn uh, by Sue? Drawn by Sue. Very good. Okay. Was the circle drawn by Sue? Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, and last one, guys. Could you feed the dog? Okay, how would you eat? how would we answer that? Jenny, let's go, Jenny. Do you have actual? Teaching. Tell me. I 
I, I have a problem, porque tengo la cámara en uno, no es que esté en clase, sino que estoy como combinando oh, okay. mi celular con mi computadora. Oh, that's uh -huh. okay. That's okay, right? That's okay. Okay. Does, does anybody okay. here, guys, ha, okay, so does anybody here have the answer for number 10? Yeah, okay, aquí tienen la respuesta para la 10, guys. I can see the 10. Okay, it says, could you feed the dog? Like this, right? Could you feed the dog? Okay. So how would you transform this? Does anybody have number 10, guys? Cool, cool the dog, uh, cool the dog, there you go. Uh, feel. Could that dog, right? Could the dog be uh -huh. fed? Right? Be, fed. The dog uh -huh. be fed. All right, good job, guys. And applause for you guys. All right, well done. Okay, super, super good. Applause, guys. Come on. <laughs> All right, very good. So, um, so, anyways, okay. Good job, guys. So those are the answers for the exercise yesterday. Okay. So now, guys, okay, um, we're going to do this quickly, guys. <clears throat> I want you guys to answer. Uh, I want you to identify, guys, if this is either passive or active, right? Okay. For example, guys, okay, so let, let's do this together. All right. Rafael, if I say, uh, well, let's read the first one and tell me if it is passive or, or, or passive or active. Guernica was painted by Picasso. Okay. Passive, Passive. or active, guys? Passive. All right, very good. Active. Guernica, no. Wait, wait, wait. Who said active? Active. Okay, why do you think it's active? Me. For me, it's active. All right, I want you to notice something, guys. Okay? All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys. All right. When you have the verb be, guys, followed by a past participle, this usually tells you, you guys, past participle, right? Okay. And this, guys, okay? All right. This is a passive voice, okay? All right. Because the object of the sentence, guys, is being the subject of the sentence, right? Wardica was painted, past participle here, and you, all, you even have by, okay? So this is passive, right? So that is passive right there. Now, if I wanted to say this in active voice, how would, you, how would I say it? You know, Picasso painted uh, the Wernica. Got it? So this is bad. This is active. Yes? All right. Okay. All right. Does that make sense? Okay. So it is passive. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. Uh, David, number two. What is it? Passive or, or active? The doctor talked to him. Active. Very good. This is active. There you go. All right. Herbert, uh, next one. The fire was put out. Uh -huh. is, is a passive voice. It's passive. Okay. Remember what I explained, guys. All right. Uh, Ricardo, what do, you, what do you think? Passive or active? It is passive, right? Very good. It's active. Yeah. So you were going to say it's active? Yeah, but it's because I mean put out uh, together. Put out, guys, is past participle, right? Oh. Right. It's a, it's a phrasal verb, but put, guys. So put, guys, the, 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 present, the present form of put is put, right? The past is put, and the past participle is put, okay? But we have the verb be here, right? We, we have the verb be plus a past participle. All right, if we have this, guys, okay, <clears throat> that is usually going to tell you, hey, you know, I'm a passive, right? So this is passive right here. Okay, very good. Um, let's see, Jenny, right? Uh, this one right here. What do you think? Passive or active? And let's read it. Uh, active, boys. My parents gave me a present. Very good. This is active. Very good. Mm -hmm. English is spoken here. Uh, what is that, uh, Rodrigo? Passive or active? This is passive. Very good. It is passive. Very good. Good job, guys. All right. Good job. All right. You're doing great. All right. Next one. The dog has been taken to the vet. Uh, Maria Belen. Passive or active? Um, passive. All right. Very good. It is passive, right? 
Very good. Um, Rafael, somebody has stolen my bag. Passive or active? Passive. Mm, are you sure? Be careful, guys. All right. Does I? Let me ask you something. Does everybody here think, guys, that this is act, that, that, that this is passive? Somebody has stolen my bag. Is that passive? Remember, no. guys, the verb be plus past participle, right? Okay. So here, guys, this is a sentence. Somebody has stolen. This is present, right? Perfect. This is present perfect, okay? Uh, this is present perfect in active voice. If I wanted to say it in passive voice, I would say my bag has been stolen, right, by somebody, all right? Or, or just like my bag has been stolen. Got it? All right? Very good. So this is active, guys, okay? This is an active voice, okay? Remember this, guys. You have to remember this part right here, okay? All right, so um, so this is active, right? Let's see. Uh, no, 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 Giovanni. No, no. Uh, let's see. Who's left, guys? Oh, um, Jenny. Jenny. All right. This one right here. Um, I the car has been repaired. It's passive boy. The car has been repaired. All right, this is passive. Very good. Okay, good job. Right, we got B plus past participle here. All right, uh, let's see Giovanni, right? Number, well, this one. This is active voice. Some people were laughing. Very good. This is active, right? Good job. And this one says olive oil is made from olives. So if I say, guys, olive oil is made from olive all right passive or active guys okay. what do you think active really yes olive oil olive oil is made from olive is active it's passive it's passive it's right. passive right. Yeah. it is passive guys you have why why is, why is it passive because uh, the verb be and passive passive. Exactly, guys. Exactly. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Good job, guys. Well done. All right. Very good. High five to you guys. Okay. All right, guys. So do we understand? All right. Let me ask you something, guys. Okay. So we, we should have accomplished two objectives here. Okay. All right. First off, the objective of identifying if it is active or if it is passive. Okay. All right. And the second objective, okay, is transforming um you know transforming a sentence into a passive voice or into an active voice okay so let me ask you something do we all understand guys what is the difference between an active voice uh versus a passive voice yes or no or do you need more examples for me it's okay all right um, Let's see, right? I'll I'll give you uh, I'll give you one that is tricky. Right? So first of all, I will ask you again, guys, because if you because if you don't ask me, I will ask you, okay? Si no me pregunta, yo le voy a preguntar a ustedes. All right? Do we all understand, guys? What is the difference between active and versus passive? Uh, the difference is the the attention uh, of the subject and object. Okay, very good. So the focus, right? All right. Ah, the focus, yeah. The focus, right? Now, now do we know how to identify it? Can you identify it? Can we all identify an active voice, guys? If I say, guys, I like apples. Actually, you know what? Let's say uh, Charlie likes apples, okay? All right. Passive or, passive or active? It's active. Okay, active. This, is, this is active, right? Active. Very good. How will you turn this into? How would you turn this into an, a passive voice sentence? Apples yeah. is liked. Uh, apples, apples is is is, guys, is liked. Do we use is for singular? Ah, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, 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 okay, apples uh, are liked. Uh, okay. 
All right, so you can say apples are liked by Charlie, all right? So this is passive, all right? See, so you got the verb be plus the past participle, all right? Very good. Now, now this sentence, okay, nobody would say this, you know, except one thing that I want to point out here, guys, people do not use passive voice when talking most of the times, okay? You're not going to hear people talking like that, all right? You see this, guys, when you watch the news, for example, when you, news, when you read a newspaper. Do you know what a newspaper is? Yeah. All right. Cuando lees el diario, okay? En eso vas a ver passive voice, cuando vos escribís, all right? When you... When you want to highlight something that you have written down, okay? Yes? Entonces, vos vas a encontrar passive voice, usualmente, cuando... All right, I'm going to mute you guys just because there is background noise, okay? Lo estoy muteando, guys, porque hay background noise. Tienes el tele encendido, cosas así, se oye bastante, okay? All right, so, vas a encontrar, guys, cuando estás leyendo o el diario, right? O las o ves noticias en cualquier parte, eh, ahí se habla con passive voice, okay? All right? When you're like, I'll regresar, right? All right. So you're going to say, you're going to find um, articles like this, you know. Let's say that, let's say, let's say, right. Uh, let's say Maria, right. Maria Belen. Um, let's say discovered a new planet, okay. Now, passive, is this passive or active, guys? Active. active. It is active, okay, all right. Now, this is not how you would find it in the news, guys, okay, all right? This is not, guys, if, if you if if you found a news article, guys, all right, this is not how you would find it in the news, okay? If you find it in the news, guys, this would, this would say, right, oh my God, whatever. All right, so this would say, guys, right, what would be the article? ¿Cuál sería, ¿Cuál sería el nombre del artículo? A new, a new planet, planet was, was discovered, discovered yeah, by Maria Blaine. Very good. A new planet, right? Because he wants to emphasize the important thing, right? The important thing here now would be a new, new planet, right? A new planet was discovered, right? So you can say that. All right. This is how you would find it, guys, okay? Now, in, in, in the newspaper, they wouldn't mention Maria's name, right? Because that is not relevant here so far. They will mention it within the article, right? But, oh, a new planet was discovered, you know? Or a new planet has been discovered, okay? All right. So this is passive voice because you're reading it now. Do you understand now? Right? Yes. In a newspaper, guys, and this applies also in Spanish, see? In Spanish, you wouldn't say, Maria Belén descubrió un nuevo planeta, right? You would say, un planeta nuevo ha sido descubierto, right? Got it? Yes? Because the attention, right, the focus changes, guys, right? El enfoque de lo que vos estás hablando no va a ser a María, sino que va a ser al hecho de que se descubrió un nuevo planeta. Yes? Does that make sense? ¿Tiene sentido? All right. Yes. Very good. Yes. Very good. Okay. All right. Very good. All right, guys. So now, are we clear as tequila or are we clear as horchata? <laughs> ¿Estamos claros como el tequila o claros como el horchata todavía, guys? What do you think? Tequila. <laughs> All right, tequila, right? Tequila, 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 right? Maybe we're thinking about it because it's almost Friday, right? But anyways, okay. All right. So now, guys, um, um, you're gonna practice. Uh, you're gonna practice talking, but I need to show you. I need to teach you about pronunciation. Okay. So we're gonna talk about vowel sounds. Okay. Let me ask you something, guys. How many vowel sounds do we have in Spanish? Who knows? Five. Okay, all right. Do we all agree, guys? Do we have five vowel sounds in Spanish? Yes, but yes. Tell, tell, tell us, tell us. Um, I, I think Maria, you were gonna say something. In Spanish, five. In English, the pronunciation in the U is A. Okay, all right, very good. Very good. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Okay. In Spanish, guys, we have we have five vowel sounds, right? I O, and that's the end of your life, right? So you don't have to care about vowel sounds anymore. Right? That's it. In English, we have how many? We have fourteen. <laughs> All right. 
Now, why is that important, guys? Because that's why I sound like this, and I don't sound like Sofia Vergara, right? <clears throat> so that's why, you know, when I talk, I sound like this, and I, I don't talk like, hello, guys, what, wait, how are you today, right? When you when you sound when you find, when you sound with that when you um when you sound like that, it's because you're not pronouncing the right vowels. And cuando vos sonas así es porque estás pronunciando los sonidos vocales españoles. No estás pronunciando los sonidos vocales en inglés. Okay. When you talk like this, see the the accent is very different, right? <laughs> Who talks like that, guys? <laughs> ¿Quién habla así? Sofía Vergara, right? I, so Sofia Vergara guys talks like this, but that's because you know. I mean, I I know that she can do it. It's just you know she has a character, right? But but anyways, I that is a very Spanish accent, guys, because the vowel sounds are not the same. Okay, so let's start with the short vowel sounds. Okay, vamos a iniciar con los sonidos cortos. Okay, now <clears throat> the pronunciation for this guys, lettuce. Okay, lettuce. All right. The pronunciation is like lettuce, all right, lettuce, all right, not lettuce, all right, lettuce. But um, I'm going to show you guys the difference between the first sound, okay? This one, guys, is actually one of the most difficult ones, so I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, let's let's start with that one, okay? All right. So, guys, when you go online and you look for the pronunciation of... Um, when you look for the pronunciation of a word, you will run across uh, the phonemes, okay? Do you know what phonemes are? Sabe que son phonemas? Right? Yes. So phonemes, guys, okay, is the representation, right? The graphical representation of a sound, okay? Es la representación gráfica de un, de un sonido en cualquier idioma. Yes? All right, so that is a phoneme, guys. The graphical representation of a sound, okay? So, for example, let's talk about the word, I don't know, kiss, right? No, 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 you know what, which one? Let's talk about ship, all right? If you ever worked, you know, um, this, this is very commonly used, guys, when you work in a call center or when you work well, with deliveries and, and salt and, and, and so on so this guys versus this okay all right so this guys all right when you find this sound all right when you find this sound guys you're gonna find this representation okay and this one is this one right here okay but anyways all right so this guys it has a short a short, a short A sound, all right? Give me one second, guys. Okay, so this one has a short A, all right? And this one, guys, has a long, a long A sound, all right? Now, you call them like that, guys, but they are not really longer than the other one, okay? In realidad, guys, las llamas short or long, pero no es que sea más larga o corta que la otra. And in reality, guys, they have a different name too. Tienen otro nombre, all right? These ones right here are called lax sounds, okay? Sonidos que son relajados, okay? Lax sounds, all right? And these ones right here, these are tense sounds. Los que son tensos, right? Tense sounds, all right? Like your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend, all right? Anyways, so... That's how you call them, guys, okay? Lag sounds or tan sounds, okay? The reason why, guys, is um, because when you pronounce a word like this, pronounce sheep, guys. Pronounce it. Let me hear you. Sheep. Sheep. All right. Very good. Sheep. Okay. When you pronounce it, guys, notice how how tension is created in your muscles, okay? Noten como, como se crea tensión cuando, cuando pronuncias la I en español. I. Everybody say I. 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 Okay, I. But yeah. I, touch, touch your throat, guys, okay? Touch. Uh, I think that's um, the amygdalas, right? All right, touch them, right? You're gonna feel, you're gonna feel the tension, I, right? So there is tension when you pronounce it, okay? Because there is tension, right? 
porque, porque hay tensión, guys. That's, uh, so, 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 se llama tense vowel sounds, okay? So far so good. Why do we call them tense or long vowel sounds, guys? ¿Por qué las llamamos tense vowel sounds? Or long vowel sounds? Yes? Because the sound is um, maybe strong? No. Very good. Okay, all right. Because of the tension, guys, in your muscles, okay? Porque hay tensión en tus músculos cuando lo pronuncias. E, right? Now, guys, the, try, try, to pronounce, try to pronounce these words, okay? Quiero ver quién puede pronunciar estas dos palabras. Because they, they, they don't sound the same, okay? All right. Uh, so how do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Uh, so how do you pronounce that? Um, incorrect. <laughs> how do you pronounce this? Chip. So is, is it the same sound? Es lo mismo. Están pronunciando exactamente lo mismo. <laughs> uh -huh. Jenny, how do you pronounce them? ¿Cómo lo pronuncias? Mm, chip, um, chip. All right. You pronounced chip. it exactly chip. the same way. Pronunciaste las dos exactamente igual. All right. I see, see, all right. So we have issues pronouncing this, right? <laughs> same, same thing like this, guys. How do you pronounce? All right, let me give you another one, right? How do you pronounce Chip. How do you pronounce this versus I'm not gonna pronounce this one, okay? Ah, versus plural. So how do you pronounce them? This and this. 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 Okay, right. Almost, okay. It's not this. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. This. All right, but I'm gonna teach you, okay? I'm gonna teach you, okay? So the difference, guys, okay, this is ship, right? No, it's ship. Ship, and this is sheep. She, do you hear the difference? It's it's actually guys. It's an e sound, right? They're both e, right? But the the the, the second one is the one that you know. This one, guys, you know how to pronounce this, okay? Because it's the same sound in Spanish. En la misma i que tenés en español, okay? All right, it's exactly the same one, right? But when you pronounce ship, this one. It's not that it's shorter, right? No es que sea más corta. Vos relajas la garganta. Es como cuando... Right, I'm going to explain like this, okay? It's like when you're very sleepy, you know, like you woke up in the morning, you're like, you know, like you're super sleepy, right? <clears throat> and and then, you know, your, your, your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your mom or your dad, you know, comes into your room and, and they're like, you know, hey, uh, hey, hey, darling, whatever, whatever right? And, you, and you're like super lazy and you don't want to talk, you know? And you go like, eh... Uh, eh, eh. All right. So when you go like when you do that, guys, the eh, 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 like I'm lazy and I don't want to do anything. Eh. All right. That is the short eh sound. Got it? So you don't make an effort when you pronounce it, guys. Es como cuando está bien, 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 bien cansado y bueno, no, pero está así que te despierta de madrugada y vos está. Ah, uh, yeah. Ese es un sonido relajado. Ah, uh, eh, 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 sí, eh, eh. Versus e, 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 got it? Or you can put it like this, e, like cuando alguien te pega el pecho, e, right, got it? All right, so let's try it, okay? So uh, so this one is ship, see, ship, ship, sheep, ship, sheep. Also notice that this sound, guys, is more nasal, es un más nasal también, right? So ship, sheep, ship. Ship, uh, I mean sheep, right? So, uh, David, try it one more time. Ship. Okay, very good. You said this one. Good job. Huh? Sheep. Sheep. Okay, very good. Sheep. Good job. Okay. Same, same with this, guys. What if? Same with this. Chip, right? And cheap. All right. Maria Belen, try it. Chip. Cheap. All right, now notice it's not an A, guys. No confundan con no no lo no lo confundan con A, right? Don't get confused with A. It's not chep. It's right, chepe, no. Chep. <laughs> chep. Chep, cheap. 
Chip. Chip. Cheap. Cheap. Chip. All right. Stupid chip. 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 I'll take chip. a look at this chip. Chip. Right. And this chip. one, cheap. 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 Okay, very good. Okay. All right. Very good. Everybody, unmute yourselves, guys. Let's repeat. Chip. Cheap. Chip. 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 All right. Chip. 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 Cheap. Very good. Okay. Very cheap. good. Okay. Uh, now you try it, Rafael. Okay. So how do we pronounce? What is the difference uh, between these two words? Okay. So what is the difference? All right. So what is the difference between this and this? This. This. Okay. This. Okay. And the other one. This. These. Ah, uh, these. The one in Spanish, right? This and these. This. This. Okay, good job. Now, which one is the, which one is the lax vowel sound? What is the lax vowel sound here, or 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 or, or um, the short vowel sound? Guys, cuál aquí es cuál contiene el short vowel sound or lax vowel sound y cuál contiene el long vowel sound or tense vowel sound? The short vowel sound is this, and this. This is tense, right? Very good. And this is short, short or lax, right? Remember, guys, that lax equals short, right? Significa lo mismo. Lax and short, right? And tense means uh, long. Okay. Write it down in your notebook, guys. Okay, right? Because otherwise, you're not gonna, you're not gonna remember this. Vivan los cuadernos, guys, porque si no no se les va a quedar. Okay. All right. So anyways, all right, do we understand the difference, guys, between those two sounds? ¿Entendemos la diferencia entre esos sonidos, guys? Yes. yes. All right, very good. Okay. Okay, guys, so, so that's a rule of pronunciation, right? Next up, we have, hold on. Next up, guys, we have, now, this one, guys, is going to be a little bit more complicated for you, all right? But, um... But I'll let you know. We also have, guys, two O sounds, okay? So, so all these sounds that you see in here, guys, the short vowel sounds are very relaxed, okay? That's that's how you pronounce them, okay? So now, this sound that you see here, guys, see how you represent that, okay? The pronunciation of that sound, guys, is that O sound, okay? I call it the gorilla sound. Porque es como cuando los gorillas hacen O, 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 O. Got it? That is the sound, okay? It's not a O, all right? Now, I want you to notice something here, guys. Let me explain that one, okay? All right. <clears throat> try, try to say the U in Spanish, guys. ¿Cómo, cómo pronuncias la U en español? U. 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 All right. Let me ask you something. What happens to your lips when you pronounce the U sound? ¿Qué, qué le pasa a tus labios cuando pronuncias la U? It's close. All right. Your lips, your lips go like, like this, right? All right, tus labios se hacen así, right? All right, no, not like, not like that. It's more like, more like this, okay? More curved, okay? Yes or no, guys? Yes. 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 All right. All right. Entonces, vos pones los labios así, lo haces como una O, right? U, right? That is the long U sound, okay? Ese es la U, pero larga, la que nosotros usamos en español, okay? En inglés, acordate, all right? Remember, it's like when you're super lazy, right? All right, the sound is oh. See? Oh. Take a look, take a look at the shape, guys. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Take a look at the shape of my lips when I pronounce the oo, right? Versus when I pronounce uh. Uh. See? What happens to my lips when I pronounce the short oh guys? Uh. 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 All right. Don't move. All right. All right. They, they, they exactly, guys. Uh. See? So when you say look, okay, you don't say look. Notice the difference, guys. This is Sofia Vergara. Look, look. <laughs> All right. Does that does that sound American? Suena americano, guys. Look. <laughs> now compare this. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Do you hear the difference? See, ¿Sí? escuchan la diferencia, guys. Cuando digo yes. look. All right, look, look. See. ¿Sí? A ver, qué estoy diciendo, guys. Short U or long U? Look. Look. Short or long, guys? Look. Short. 
Char. Char. Right, very good. Uh, Luke, 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 Luke. What am I saying? Yeah. Luke, short or long? No. no. All right, that is that is a long one, guys. Okay, right? Uh, try. Let's try to uh, look at this, guys. All right. We have this word. All right. And we have this word. Okay. Tell me which one contains the long and short u. Okay. Dígame qué escuchan, guys. Short one or long one. Okay. Tatiana. Foot. Short or long. Foot. 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 Long. All right. Now, acordate, guys, el, the long one is the one we use in Spanish. Es el que usas en español, right? Do you say, do you pronounce the U in Spanish like U, uh, U, uh, U, uh, U? Uh, or do you pronounce like U? So again, right? So you think, you think this one is long, okay? Do we all agree, guys? Is this one long? Foot? It's short. All right, no, guys, this one is short, right? Foot. All right, this one is short. Uh, what about now, guys? Pull, pull, pull. Short or long, guys? Pull. Long. 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 Right, long. long. See, I'm not saying pull. See, if it were if it were short, guys, I would say uh, pull. Right? It's not pull. But what about these guys? Okay, let me give you another another tricky one. Okay. What about what about this? This versus this. Right? What is? So, uh, hear me out. Um, pull, 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 pull. What am I saying? Short or long? Short. Pull. Short. Very short. Good. short. All right. So this one is short, right? And this one is. Then this one is long. Pull, 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 pull. All right. You see the difference? The difference, guys. All right. Not only uh, lies on how relaxed your muscle uh, your muscles are but it also relies on um the shape of your mouth okay esto no solamente guys es sobre qué tan relajados están tus músculos cuando lo pronuncias pero también guys en la forma de tu boca cuando lo pronuncias cuando pronuncias la u en español vos haces una chibolita con tu boca right haces una o right u u u right but when you pronounce it guys when you pronounce the short o sound cuando pronuncias el, el, el corto u right La boca permanece en una posición neutral, no la haces una bola. Uh, uh, uh. ¿Sí? Uh. So, suena como una combinación entre una O y una U. Uh, 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 right? Uh, 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 right? Paul. Right? But it's still an O uh sound, okay? All right, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Okay, very good. Very good, okay. What other word, guys, what other word can you find with, uh, try to Google it, Google it if you want, guys, okay? What other word, guys, can you find with a short O sound? ¿Qué otra palabra puedes encontrar que tiene una short O? Cat. 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 Hug. Abrazo. Hug. Now, hug. No. Hug. Hug, guys, okay? Acuérdense, guys, no es como lo de letras. It's not how you spell it. It's how you pronounce it, okay? No es como lo de letras. Es como lo pronunciar. Hug, guys, es el siguiente sonido. This is a schwa sound. Okay, hug. Okay? Ese no es una U. No es hug or hug. ¿Sí? Si fuera una short U, pronunciarías como hug. Hug, right? Si fuera una, una long U, pronunciarías como hug. Right? And no lo pronuncia así, pronuncia hug. Hug. Which is the next sound, guys, okay? The next sound that we have in the list, guys, is is uh, the schwa sound, okay? El siguiente sonido que tenemos es el schwa, right? The famous schwa. Now, this one is not really complicated, guys. It's just that nobody knows how to explain it, okay? For example, guys, all right? In the word, we have two, two sounds, okay? We have the O sound. Take a look at take a look at the shape of my lips, guys. When I pronounce the O oh sound, what happens to my lips? O, oh, O, oh, everybody, O, oh, O, oh. O. Oh. Oh. Okay, right. 
Now, what happens to my lips, guys? What happens to the shape of my lips when I pronounce that? ¿Qué pasa con open. La... Circle. Okay. Open. Es un circle. Open. Okay, es un círculo. Entonces, cuando vos lees pizza, pizza, aquí le dicen pizza hat, right? It's not pizza hat, guys. Ahí me está diciendo pizza, pizza sombrero, right? It's not pizza hat, okay? Okay, um, but anyways, okay? So people get confused with these sounds of the O and the and the uh sound, okay? So the uh sound, guys, the schwa sound es como un rapero cuando le hace uh, 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 all right? Es una O, guys. It's an O, but with the shape of an A. Es una O, pero con la forma de la boca de una A. Entonces, vos pones la boca como que vas a decir A, pero en realidad decís O. O, uh, ¿sí? O, uh. uh, uh. Everybody, O, O, O. O, O. Very good. What okay, is entonces, the name, uh. teacher? What is the name, uh. baby? Um, the name is Schwa, the Schwa, the schwa sound. Schwa. Yes, the Schwa. Or you can call it the A uh sound, okay? Schwa. Right? Entonces, guys, right? Acuérdense, esto es como pones la boca como que va a decir a, ah, sure. pero en lo que no decís la a, ah, sino que decís la o. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Right, everybody uh. repeat. Everybody, let's uh. practice. Okay? Uh, uh, uh. 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 Uh, u
I listen, guys. Listen, okay? Hot. 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 Pizza hot. 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 Pizza hot. Right? Hot. Okay. So this is hot, right? Like this. Pizza hot. Okay. All right. This one, hat. 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 This is called a cat sound hat. because it sounds like an ah, right? Hat. You have to smile. Hat. Hat, okay? Hat. Hat. Okay? hat. And this one is the O sound. Hot. 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 Right. So, hot, hat, hot. hot. Do, you hear, do you hear the difference? Can you all hot. hear the difference? Yes. Hat, hat, hot. 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 Ricardo, all right? Yeah. All right, let's try to pronounce the three of them. Mm. Hot, hot, and hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, and hot. No, no, no. What is the pronunciation of the first one? Hot, hot. No, hot. A question schwasan, right? Remember it's a schwasan, right? A schwasan is made by your your mouth has to be have the shape of an A, but the pronunciation is an O. It's like a rapper, man. Try to say uh, 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 uh. Try to say that. Hot. Okay, so hot. Okay. Hat. This is an A, just like an A in Spanish. A. Hat. Hat. Okay, and hot. Hot. Okay, right. Very good, guys. A plus for you guys, okay? Well done. All right, guys. So, anyways, any questions, guys? Any questions? Did we accomplish? Yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. Did somebody ask me anything? I mean, did somebody ask me something? No? Okay, right. Okay, oh, guys. So sure. very let's... interesting, like the class. All right. Well, I'm glad that you liked it. Thank you. Um, all right. Anyways, okay. So, so, uh, so did we accomplish the objective for today, guys? Um, ya entendimos, guys. Did we understand what the difference between active voice and passive voice is? Yes or no? Ya entendimos cuál es la diferencia entre active and passive voice? Yes. One hundred percent. Okay. Very good. Yes. All right, entendemos la diferencia. Do we understand the difference between short vowel sounds and long vowel sounds or tense and lags? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, very good, very good. All right, now, guys, the only way you're going to um, you're gonna learn how to, how to pronounce the different vowel sounds is by practicing, okay? It's just by practicing and making an effort, okay? Remember, it's just like when you say, uh, ship and uh, and sheep, right? Two different vowel sounds, okay? Tu, tu oídos tiene que acostumbrar a diferenciar esos dos sonidos, okay? Remember, like vowel sounds are the sounds when you're lazy, right? Cuando tiene hueva, right? Esos son like vowel sounds, right? The short ones, right? Sure. And when you want to be intense, right? There are the, those are the long vowel sounds, the tense ones, right? Cuando quieres ser el intenso, e, right? So that's, those are long vowels, okay? All right, guys, so if you don't have any further questions, guys, uh, you guys are dismissed. Please, guys, be early tomorrow uh, so we can continue practicing. And uh, thank you, guys, right? Good job. See you thank, you, thank you, David. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.